All right, saints, we're going to go on now with the messages about the trumpets and the bowls of wrath being the same thing. Remember, the trumpets are messages to God's people that go into the tribulation and those that get saved in the tribulation. The bowls of wrath are the same thing, but they're the outcome of those who turn from Christ and turn to the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist. And the first four trumpets all are describing one thing, an asteroid hitting in an ocean and causing the downfall of Babylon. There are four different views, four different looks at, four different descriptions of that one asteroid falling. And today we're only going to go over the fourth trumpet. That's where we're at now, the fourth trumpet. The last of the trumpets describing the asteroid and its effects and its effects upon the people who reject Christ and turn to the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist, as you will see in the bowls of wrath. Once again, the fourth trumpet and the fourth bowl of wrath are completely tied. And we're only doing this one trumpet today because this is the last of the four that describe the asteroid hitting. And then we're going to go on and see something shocking, something startling that starts in what the Word of God says. But now, the fourth trumpet and the fourth bowl of wrath, the last description of that asteroid hitting and its effect upon those who reject the message of the Christians, reject Christ, and turn to the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist. So now the fourth trumpet, Revelation 8, 12. And the fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars were smitten, so that a third of them might be darkened, and the day might not shine for a third of it, and the night in the same way. Now, we had that description in the second trumpet of the asteroid hitting the ocean, and first affecting a third of the ocean. And we saw in the bowl of wrath, the second bowl of wrath, that by the end of the tribulation, that whole ocean had lost the life, the ability to sustain life. In the third angel, we saw that wormwood, and we saw that it fell upon the fresh water. And we saw in the bowl of wrath that it, by the end of the tribulation, that fresh water supply in the area where the asteroid hit at first in the trumpet was one-third of the water. By the end of the tribulation, it's that whole water supply. Not around the world, because we've seen those other messages. In the middle of the tribulation, when the two witnesses are killed, people are giving gifts, they're partying, they're making merry, they're in joy around the world, every nation it said, at the death of the two witnesses. So this can't be worldwide. This is in Babylon, this is one third of Babylon, and that this is in the fourth trumpet, it's the beginning of the tribulation. We're going to see shortly in the first bowl of wrath, it's by the end of the tribulation. So once again, in the fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, everything's a third. When it hits the ocean, one third at first, the total ocean by the end. One third of the fresh water supply, all that fresh water supply by the end of the tribulation. Now we're the effects. We're in the effects as that cloud rises up and rolls like a scroll, as the debris, the water, the sulfur, the acid, the salt water, the debris, the chemicals, the nuclear waste, everything, the earth that is kicked up, is kicked up and it goes over one-third of Babylon. And that causes one-third of what you just read there, sounded, and a third of the sun, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars were smitten, so that a third of them might be darkened at the beginning of the tribulation over Babylon. One third of it will be smitten. One third of it will be darkened. And the day might not shine for a third of it, and the night the same way for a third of it. It's the beginning of the tribulation. It's one right after the trip. Tribulation starts and the asteroid hits. It's that debris being kicked out. It's blocking a third over that area 
a third of the sun, a third of the moon, a third of the stars. And then we read again in the fourth bowl. Remember, the bowls of wrath are the same thing, but they're the outcome upon those who reject Christ and turn to the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist. And it's the effect of those things playing out, their actual selves, this asteroid hitting, playing out throughout the tribulation, to the end of the tribulation. Revelation 16, 8. And the fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun, and it was given to it to scorch men with fire. So at first, it's one-third. One-third of the stars are blocked. One-third of this. By the end of the tribulation, and remember what, how it started, the fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun, that's how it started. And the fourth angel in the bowl of wrath poured out his bowl upon the sun. It's the same thing. And it was given to it to scorch men with fire. In the first part of the tribulation, right at the beginning, it's one-third. By the end of the tribulation, remember, around the world, they're giving gifts, they're making merry, they're having a party. At the death of the tribulations, in the, of the uh, two witnesses in the middle of the tribulation, this ain't the whole earth. This is over Babylon. This is the effects of the downfall of Babylon. And it and the fourth angel poured out his bowl upon the sun, and it was given it to its scorch men with fire. And the men were scorched with fierce heat, and they blasphemed the name of God, who has the power over these plagues. And they did not repent so as to give him glory. You see, this is the point of it. This is the bulls of wrath. This is those that turn to the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist. They turn from Christ. They turn from the messages of the Christians. And they did not repent. It's the outcome. By the end of this asteroid hitting, kicking up that debris, now it's affected in Babylon. Now, over that entire area, the sun is scorching men with heat. There'll be the radiation poured down. There'll be the chemicals poured down. The sun, the ozone will have been opened up. The sun is scorching people with heat. And men were scorched with fierce heat from the asteroid and the effects of it, the burning of it, the chemicals, the nuclear reactor, the nuclear waste that's going to be kicked up, the sulfur, the acid rain that will be kicked up in a big degree. And the sun, the effects on the sun. And men were scorched with fierce heat and they blasphemed the name of God. You see, this is the bowl of wrath. It's the outcome on those who reject Christ. They're blaspheming God. The saints through the trumpets are receiving the latter day rain. They're preaching the gospel. This is those who are rejecting that. They're turning to the kingdom of the beast. That is why this is going to the end of the tribulation. That's why it's the bulls of wrath. That's why these angels are a sign. They're the same angels, but now it's a sign upon those who are turning to the kingdom of the beast. And they did not repent so as to give him glory. So we see how they're connected. The one, the fourth, at the beginning, with a third of the effects upon the sky and the sun and the moon. The others by the end, the intense heat, the burning, and those rejecting Christ and turning to the kingdom of the beast and not repenting. And now, look over right here before the next message will pick up the fifth and sixth trumpets. But look what we see in Revelation 8.13. And I looked right after the fourth trumpet, the last describing the asteroid hitting, as it hits. And look what we see here in verse 13. And I looked, and I heard an angel flying in mid-heaven. Remember, every time you see an angel in the book of Revelation, it's bringing you, the saints, here in the beginning of the tribulation, us now. Angels in the book of Revelation are bringing us a message from God. Angels aren't going to fly around and preach the gospel. They're not going to fly around and do this. This is a message from God. Angels are God's messenger. They're bringing us a message. The saints, a message. And I looked and I heard an angel flying in mid-heaven. 
Not low upon the earth, not out in space, in the upper atmosphere. This is between heaven and earth, between God and man. It's not out in heaven, it's not down here on earth. It's in mid-heaven. And I looked and I heard an angel flying in mid-heaven, between God and man, between heaven and earth. And I looked and I heard an angel flying in mid-heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth. After this, four descriptions of this asteroid hitting, the effects it has, the giant earthquakes it'll have, Babylon falling, the nations falling, and right after that, what's the first thing it says? And I looked and I heard an angel flying in heaven saying with a loud verse, Woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth because of the remaining blast of the trumpets of the three angels who were about to sound them. After an asteroid hitting, after Babylon falling in one day, after the ocean, after the fresh water, and now the nations have fallen. Why now? Whoa, 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 because of the next ones. Because the next angels with those trumpets have to do with once Babylon that place, that kingdom that was allowed to rule and reign over the earth by God's authority, once it's fallen in one hour of one day, then that makes way for the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist. And we're going to see in another message shortly after these trumpets that, angel, that, the, the, that Satan is going to fall to earth. That is why the woes, this asteroid falling, Babylon falling, is the nations falling is nothing compared to Satan is coming to earth to rule now. Man is going to rule, but through Satan, through the seven years of the tribulation. And the kingdom of the beast is going to rise up. That's why it says, woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth, because of the remaining blast of the trumpets of the three angels who were about to sound them. Yeah, the asteroid fell. Babylon fell. The tribulation started. The nations of the earth has fallen. But now Satan's coming to earth to rule and reign through man. That's the woe. That's why it's going to be so terrible. Because now the kingdom of the beast is going to quickly rise up to great power within the first three and a half years of the tribulation. Moving fast and with power. And that will bring the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist and that is why the next trumpets are woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on earth. Like this was a small thing for the asteroid to hit. So we need to get ready. We need to get ready for the next trumpets and the next bulls of wrath and see how they're tied together in this revelation of the trumpets and the bulls of wrath. We didn't go down the broad road to destruction. We are not seeing 14, 21, 30 different cosmic disasters. We entered the small gate. We're staying on the narrow way. We've seen one thing. We've seen we're halfway through these things. We've seen one thing, an asteroid hit. But now we're going to see woe, woe, woe to those who dwell on the earth as Satan will fall to earth and the kingdom of the beast and the Antichrist will rise up.